And welcome back to Mistyle. As you can see, I'm back where I left off, and, well, yeah, I had to get a little bit clever and use up my use up some arrows to clear out the enemies here, because otherwise I was going to die. <laughs> and as I thought, those are arrow triggers. So I did need the arrows to get through here. Oh, jeez. I'm gonna guess there's something in here, otherwise it wouldn't be so easy to pass. Uh-huh, my guess was correct. A lot bolder. Okay, <laughs> I have to admit, that's a new one. Oh, no, 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 I am not going out like this. Not this quick. I should honestly be using these arrows more often. Oh, come on! That's a cheap shot. Oy. Now I gotta go all the way back there. Oh, boy, oh boy, oh boy. It's just one big, winding, long path. Now it gives me a fairy. <laughs> Thanks, game. At least I'm getting a substantial amount of money back. It's always a good plus. It's just being constantly shot at by things I cannot block is what's really pissing me off. gonna keep you alive because that just makes that room a lot easier to pass by same goes for you I'll keep you alive as well you two I really don't need to worry about as long as you're not in my way. Shooters are still very annoying without the fact that I don't have a magic shield. Once I get the mirror shield though, my worries are pretty much over. Oh good, the trigger stays. I get to pick who lives and who dies. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm not like that. At least I'm coming back here now with a substantial bit more life. Now, 
right, let's see if I can't get through here without being cheap shotted again. Come on. I'm betting I need to bomb that open. All right, I'll leave that bat up. I'll leave that bat up. Aw, that's very nice of you. Thank you. All right, get another heart container started. Where does this go? Three Dodongos? Nothing I can't handle. Come on, just gotta line them up proper. And a good way to replenish my bombs as well while I'm at it. Along with a secret passage. Is there something in here? There's a passageway. But I want to see what's the other way first. really anything else important to buy at the moment, I don't think. Let me ponder this a moment here. Hmm. Except for potions, I really don't have much else to buy. Oh, why not? Let's get them over here. Wait, I don't have to backtrack all the way to get it later. question is, which one do I bomb to get out? That one, apparently. But I would not give for Din's fire right now. <laughs> Just clear out all these guys in one fell s swoop. I'm dying here! Don't you care? Said. It's really hard to see these bats with this background, though. Yeah. Oh, boy. That means I gotta backtrack all the way through that again. Luckily, though, I kept the majority of the enemies alive. So I won't have to backtrack through a lot. Still, another heart piece and another bomb upgrade, I suppose. That's nothing to sneeze at. Again, another trick shot. <laughs> and, of course, I can't push that without killing all the enemies in here. I wonder... I honestly wonder how many trick shots have I done this entire LP? <laughs> Apparently, just keeping one enemy alive on each screen is actually, uh, helping out quite a bit. Or at least, just the fewest enemies possible. Get off me. I don't have anything to munch on.
Well, at least this is somewhat making uh, backtracking a little bit easier. Because apparently there's quite a lot of it done in here. Yeah, I don't want to kill you. You will live for the sake of my sanity. And you two will move for the sake of my sanity. just leave the fewest number of enemies possible in each room, then things should go well. Of course, the... Of course, pretty much saying to leave the fewest number of enemies possible in each room means that the fewest number would be zero, but I want to keep the fewest number alive in each room. <laughs> so, yeah. Rephrase that there. Do I have to kill these guys again? Yeah, apparently I do. Come on. Come on spread apart. There we go. sure if I want to kill or not because okay there's nothing in here keep that in mind for next time ow whoa wow whoa 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 hey hey that's no fair buddy no fair Finally, this room. This room, yeah. Yep. Oh, come on. Stop shooting at me, damn it! I want my key! Thank you! I'm out of here. Goodbye. Yeah. And you know what? Just because I can, I'm going to do this. Whew. Oh man, I cannot believe I survived that. Alright, what's in here? Just an Aquamantis, really? That's... That's some very bloody meat. <laughs> I have to say. The boss was kind of lackluster, but... Eh, well, I ain't gonna complain. Still, that's some pretty bloody meat right there. So, let's see. Now that we've completed Lionel Lionel's Den, and uh, got a few things, that's not what I wanted to drop. I think pretty much now, maybe I can actually do some of the other places like Acorn Path and stuff like that now that I have the arrows. 
There was that one place in that new book world that I needed the arrows to get to, so I could always go check that out. But like I said, first things first, let's see what the level 2 membership will give me. Yeah, that is some very bloody meat right there. Let's bring me a piece of flesh from the dragon that guards Lionel's fort. There you go. I still have the boss key here, though. So, hmm. This looks intriguing. Mmm, those silver... Take this beautiful handcrafted bow, a gift from me to you for your new level of membership. It has great speed and accuracy. What I have for sale is your choice of silver or golden arrows. Ooh, those silver arrows look very delectable and at a decent price, too. Gold arrows? I... It could probably be a little bit cheaper, but I guess I could kind of see the price hike in them because of how powerful they are. But hey, new bow! <laughs> Got a faster bow. Let's see what's in here. What I have here is a power glove. With this, you will have the strength to move very heavy gravestones. Gravestones? Hmm, I think I know where I need to use that. Next on the list is a powerful hammer. Not only can it break solid brick, but can also destroy the shields of your opponents. Oh, what I wouldn't give for that. And I'm also a locksmith, so I'll sell and make keys. For a somewhat cheaper price, too, for that matter. So, let's see, uh, what about up here? You've come a long way in your membership, my brother. Indeed you have. To earn your final level of the craft, you must pass a final test. There is a witch who hides in a labyrinth beneath the cemetery, who knows the formula to create a potion of eternal youth. She will not speak a word about the formula. Take this flame of truth and find the witch. This will make her spill the beans about the formula. Report back to me once you have it. Well, I guess he wasn't kidding about me getting a green candle. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Though it takes the place of the letter. Hmm. Well, that part I wasn't expecting. I was actually expecting to be able to use it like as a weapon or something like that, but... Oh, well. So, let's see. I could save up for the silver arrows now, which would be a very nice asset because those things are as powerful as the magic sword. Gold arrows would be even better if I actually had the wallet to support that much money, but... And then there's also the, uh... There's also the power gloves. Power gloves would be a nice little extra. Now, expensive prices on items like, say, the power glove and stuff like that... That I can understand because, you know, you only have to buy them once. Now, on things that are like, say, the magic shield, yeah, things like that should be a little bit relatively cheaper because, you know, you just might be losing them more often. Regardless, we're still making a little bit of progress, just bit by bit. So, first thing I'm gonna do is go and check out that little arrow trigger back in the, uh, back in this other world. And then, I'll probably cut off this part, and then we'll head to, ac head to the acorn path next. Yeah, the acorn path seems like a, a viable next stop. Not the Red Knight Fortress, forget that place, honestly. Sheesh. That place was confusing as hell. Oh, right, I need to go around the other way. I still swear this sounds... This sounds like Kirby music, but I can't quite say that for sure. It sounds Kirby-ish in nature, though, at least. Oh, well. Let's see what's in this cave real quick, and then I'll uh, stop this part. Still could use some more health, though. Alright. And fire. Whew, a 
I love the faster hours. We are making progress, though, and I'm thinking that maybe by the time I'm actually done with uh, Acorn Path, I might actually be able to do the uh, the uh, sword the sword guild trial. Hmm. I wonder. Can I shoot it from over there? Apparently, I can. Good. I'm going to think, like, where do I hit this thing? Uh, like I said, I'm just glad I'm making some better progress now. The money boost did help, I have to admit. I will admit, those did help. Uh, this looks interesting. Shouldn't be wasting all my money, though, because I'm gonna need that money to save it for other things. Like a silver arrow, for example. <laughs> if I can get that, that thing will be... Whew. As long as I got money, that thing will pretty much be my go-to weapon. Just wanna make sure there's nothing else in here. Doesn't look like it. Let's keep going up. Up and up the waterfall. Whew, this place goes up a long ways, I have to admit. Sure, what that did. Whoa. Okay, hold on a sec. Just wanted to make sure nothing appeared in that area. This is interesting. New area. With, with, with wind robes, no less. I know I know this music, I just don't remember what from though. Yeah, I know I've heard this music somewhere. Just don't quite remember where it came from. What's in here? <gasps> the whistle! Oh, okay, now this was definitely worth coming here for. I also like the sparkly background. Nice and shiny. It's very pretty. And somehow I end up back here. Okay, I'm not entirely sure if that was intentional or not, but... Eh, okay! Let's see where the whistle takes me. I do have one of the pages, so let's see where it takes me. Oh, it takes me to the shop. That's nice. Oh, that's nice. It takes me straight to... Well, now I have a nice little ticket towards the shop, so I guess, uh, yeah. I'm gonna cut off this part here. We'll, uh, head towards Acorn Path, and then we'll see what we can do. So, see you then.